Hi, Rick here, and welcome to Digital Fortress. In today's video, I'm going to show you attack-resistant methods of installing the Daedalus Wallet. There's going to be two separate videos. The first video is going to be for basic installation for most users. It's the type of video you can use to install Daedalus with attack resistance without having to have advanced expert knowledge. You'll be able to follow the video step by step basically to get the installation done. The other video is going to be for experts. You're going to have to have more advanced knowledge of how firewalls work and antivirus systems work to be able to do the more advanced version of it, but it's going to give you the greatest amount of attack protection. The video for advanced users is more so for people who are going to be setting up stake pools using a home server, for example, as opposed to clustered servers out there on the internet or do a cluster service. It would be for people who have who want extra layers of protection they're willing to go the extra mile to put a couple more layers of security on their installation process so whichever method you choose either the attack resistant installation method or the highly attack resistant method there is always some level of risk hackers are very clever they can get through anything that's why none of these methods are guarantees one thing that you want to ensure that you do for either method is that you have an antivirus scanner installed, it's up to date, and that you've run it to ensure that you have no viruses on your computer or as best as possible you don't have viruses on your computer. And the other thing is don't use public Wi-Fi. Public Wi-Fi is very vulnerable to attack. Ensure that you're on a private network and using wired internet if possible. I prefer to use Ethernet connection because even a private Wi-Fi has some vulnerabilities involved. Here's the procedures for the basic attack resistant method. Step one I mentioned earlier, do not use public Wi-Fi for these steps. And step two is update your antivirus and scan your system first. Make sure your antivirus scans clean. These two steps highlighted in blue are external to the procedures that we're gonna perform next. We're gonna download the GPG Suite software that we use for validating the PGP keys. We're gonna verify the GPG Suite Shaysum to make sure that we have the correct file installed. Then we're gonna install GPG. Then we're going to download Daedalus from DaedalusWallet.io and verify the installation file with Shaysum. Then we're going to download the Daedalus signature from GitHub as opposed to downloading it from DaedalusWallet.io. The reason for that is the chances of both websites being compromised is much less than one or the other. You can download both the wallet and the Shaysum both from DaedalusWallet.io or you can download them both from GitHub. But if you switch between the two websites, it will increase your chances of security if the signature validates. So step nine there, we're gonna validate the Daedalus signature. Then lastly, step 10, we're gonna install Daedalus using minimal keystrokes. By using minimal keystrokes, a keystroke logger will not be able to catch all of the keys that we're selecting. So for the basic attack resistant method, that covers the first two steps in blue. Next, we're going to go on to the video where I actually show you how to do steps 3 through 10, downloading the suite all the way, all the way through installing Daedalus. So the steps we're about to perform is 1 through 11 shown here, written out word for word. Step 12, you're actually going to have to follow the video to perform that one, unless you already know how. On to the procedure. For this procedure, we're going to use three websites, DaedalusWallet.io, GitHub, and GPGTools.org. We're going to start at Daedalus Wallet.io and check the verify signature procedure here where it says step one obtain the Daedalus installer package file and its corresponding package.asc signature file. We're going to get the package from here. We're going to get the ASC file from GitHub because it's a lot harder to compromise two different websites than just hack one. So that gives us an increased level of security by getting the signature from another website. The Daedalus download is complete. What I'm going to do now is verify the integrity of the download of this Daedalus installer right here. But instead of using the SHA-256 checksum from here, I'm going to use the SHA-256 checksum from the GitHub web page. Now apparently they're going to be the same, so let's go take a look. We've got to scroll down, so we go back to GitHub, and... 
Here it is. I'm going to copy it. Now I'm going to launch a terminal by pressing Command Spacebar. It opens up the search flight. I type in the word terminal, hit enter, and it launches the terminal. Inside the terminal, I'm going to change directories to downloads, and when I start typing download, I hit tab complete. It'll finish typing it for me as long as it's unique, and I hit enter or return. Now I'm going to type Shaysum A 256 and I begin typing dead list the same as it shows here in downloads and tab complete and I hit enter. It runs some math and generates a unique number. Now I'm going to hit command V to paste the number I copied from GitHub and I see that it's a match. Now we know this binary is a valid download. Let's continue. Now instead of getting the signature from here, I'm going to go to GitHub and download the signature from here. Now that both downloads are complete, I verify they're in the same directory. And they're both in the downloads directory. Now I go back to deadlistwallet.io, verify signature, and it says go to gpgtools.org. Download GPG Suite, and that download's complete. Now I'm going to verify that download that the binary is intact by pressing Command Space Bar to launch the Spotlight Search. Type in Terminal type change directory downloads and I start typing I'm going to hit tab complete then shaysum tac a 256 gpg suite 2018 and hit enter verify that the shay 256 number matches And it's a match. You have a good binary. Close the terminal and back to the procedure. Now we're going to open and install the GPG Suite installer. I want to last part of step three, follow through with the installation wizard. Now we're on step four. I'm going to reorganize the window so we can see better. The key was created successfully. Now we're ready for step five. Import the IOHK key using the GPG Keychain application. Select key, look up key on key server in the application menu. I can also do the step from here. So I'm going to copy and paste signing authority at iohk.io. And it's been found. The next part of step five says choose the key with fingerprint Charlie Bravo Foxtrot Alpha Alpha 9 Bravo Alpha with user ID. That's this one here. Retrieve key. 
import successful. And the next part of step five says verify, right click the imported key, then details. And the fingerprint is a match. Now we proceed with the next step. Step six is sign the imported IOHK key. This designates trust is required for the next step. Right click on the imported IOHK key, then sign. Signing successful. Now let's clean up our windows and perform step seven. This is where we actually verify the installer binary using the signature that we downloaded from GitHub compared to the binary that we downloaded from dailyswallet.io. So two different files from two different websites. Let's see if we get a match. Launch Finder. And in Finder, we're going to right-click the Daedalus installer.pkg file. Do not right-click on the ASC file. That will not work. The ASC file is what it's going to be compared to when we use this PKG file. Right-click, Services, Open PGP, Verify Signature of File. And here are the verification results. This is what we're looking for. It is signed by IOHK Signing Authority, and it's marked in green and full trust. So we created our own signature in the GPG suite. We verified that GPG suite binary. We downloaded Daedalus. We downloaded Daedalus package.asc file from a separate website, and we verified the signature with GPG suite. We are now ready to install Daedalus, so let's do the installation. Now we launch Daedalus. Speed reading is a must for software installers. And Daedalus block synchronization is complete. So now that the block is synced, I can create a new wallet. SpongeBob, and our password. Follow these directions closely for security. This is going to be the 12 word phrase. Please make sure nobody looks onto your screen unless you want them to have access to your funds. And this is also where, if you have a virus that does screen recording, this would capture it, but we ran the virus scanning earlier. And we write down these phrases. Now, as a security practice, you would never show these phrases on your screen like I'm showing now. I'm going to be deleting this wallet and the account and everything that you see on the screen right now is going to be all deleted. But, you know, someone can look at this video and recreate this wallet. And there might be a couple of people do that. So please make sure you do not send any funds to any wallet that I create on these YouTube videos. Because I'm going to delete it, but other people can replicate it and uh, play around with it. So be careful of that. And the method they use here prevents an attack from the keystroke logger malware because we're going to click on each word to put it back in. So here's my recovery phrase and have it written down. Hit yes, I have it written down. Now I tap each word in the correct order. That keeps you from having to press the keys. And when you select the last word and it's correct, the screen will change. I understand my wallet and tokens are held securely on this device only and not on any servers. 
and the statement for you understand that the application is moved to another device. And there's our wallet. Installation complete. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching Digital Fortress. If you would like to leave me comments down below, please feel free to do so. You can reach me on Telegram and Twitter as well using my username Rick McCracken. Feel free to select like, subscribe, and if you want notifications, use the bell. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye-bye.